Hello, welcome to episode 12 of our Timberborn Update 2 Let's Play. We have quite a uh, little city going on here. Three more or less fully independent districts and the beginnings of a fourth as we work our way across this entire uh, corner of the Spiral River in the hopes of damming this up so we can raise our water level one block <laughs> in this part of the river. It's a whole lot of work for that. But uh, we've got a couple other things that we still need to explore, mostly relating to water dynamics and taking care of some lingering uh, logistical issues. Now, a lot of you have actually reached out with input on some of the possible solutions to water problems. I think one of my favorite ones, actually, was someone who suggested that I blast a channel into the, uh, into the ground here and use this river to fill up this entire area with water and then begin pumping out of that instead. I think that is a fantastic idea personally. And I would love to do that. I just need to figure out exactly how I want to go about it. Uh, someone did post on my Twitter a uh, screenshot of, I believe their game where they had done a similar thing and they had, I think they had dynamited most of this out and they'd actually put their uh, their dam for this a little bit further downstream to kind of give more area over here. But they had actually put in, I think, a channel here and then another one in this general area, flattened this out, and this was pretty much completely full of water. So that's an exciting idea we can look into doing that will give us a lot more farmable space as well. Uh, but the immediate pressing issue I see with that is this lip is currently three blocks higher than the uh, the water line or the maximum water line right here. And if we come on the other side, this I believe is three blocks and then you have this, then you have this. So if you were to go straight across in a manner that would actually fill this up from this part of the river, we would only get this flat part uh, would be directly connected to it. And then you'd have two more layers down here. And then you just have these giant tall walls. So what we would have to do is actually create some sort of like a, an aqueduct type of thing by putting levees across this entire part of the map. And I don't know if there is a way to construct, say, a dam underneath a wall. I tried doing that over here and the game didn't seem to want to let me do it. Need to uh, turn that off. We're we're gonna fix this. Um, but see, right here we have these. No, oh, that's disorienting. We have these dams here, right? If I take the path away, and I come back in here to the landscaping thing, it doesn't let me put a levee on top of it, which I'm assuming is just because, structurally speaking, a dam should not be able to support structures on top of it the way these are built. I get it. That makes sense. But wouldn't it be cool? if you could have just an entire wall, like right here, this entire wall, with an opening at the bottom that would always let water out at the base and just perpetually fill up at the top. I think that would be neat. That would be an interesting idea. So that's where I'm at with regard to using this as a reservoir. Uh, I think it's a great idea. I would love to do it. I just, uh, logistically speaking right now, don't really see much of a way to accomplish it short of dynamiting out of this and completely cutting this river off, which, you know, we could. We could very well do. We could put a, a levee here and then have a waterfall coming out of that. It's completely possible, completely reasonable. Um, I don't know that that's something I want to invest a lot of time and energy into at the exact moment we find ourselves in. I think it's probably a much more pertinent use of our time focus on making sure this is properly irrigated. Um, step one for this is going to be moving this water dump anywhere else, <laughs> quite literally anywhere else. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is just in such a strange spot for, uh, for this. I think I can get away with putting a stick of dynamite here. And then another stick there. If these guys can get these two blown up, then this will actually create a very convenient stair-step case. Stair-step case. Stair-step staircase. 
tongue twister, whatever, um, down here. And then we can actually move this water dump to be here and put a levee here to create a, I guess, two or three deep uh, water thing. And then we can put another water dump down here, which I think is probably what we're going to end up doing. Uh, since I already dynamited this, though, I'm tempted to just keep dynamiting the rest of this out and lowering it down all the way here. But we'll uh, we'll see as we uh, get closer to that. Uh, we also have, uh, now that we are built across here, we can be removing these trees here and using it as a tree farm and then just keep going up and up and up until we get to the very top here. I know we do have a limit on the range here, but I think we can make it across to this other one once the uh, the beaver boys are finished getting all of these uh, things out. We can put these uh, lumberjack flags right on top of the dam with absolutely no consequence. Mark all these for cutting. They'll do that. We'll, we'll just keep on building across here. It should go completely fine. No issues. <laughs> no issues possible there. Now we have all of this wheat. We have... Actually, we can put in... I'm going to put a bunch of potatoes in here. Just because I don't know where to click in the game. Because I'm... Sometimes I'm dumb. We'll just... Uh, we'll just do one of these. Put some potatoes there. We have plenty of these grills to work on potatoes. This area is doing quite well. But I think we still kind of have some water problems here. So uh, again, somebody did suggest that I dam up this area and then dynamite a channel in here to fill that up and have a big drinking water reservoir. That is also a good idea. It's just going to take a really long time to do. And I'm not entirely sure that's the best use of our uh, time and our resources yet. But uh, I think it's something we want to move toward for sure. And see exactly what we're able to uh, accomplish here. This is, a, this is a work in progress. You know, it's a, uh, it's a very nebulous kind of uh, way of playing the game. I, I don't really like to just say, okay, well, this is the way that this definitively is or is not going to be. I don't really find that to be a very uh, rewarding way to play a game. Kind of like to just, you know, go as, uh, go as stuff happens, you know? So I think easy way to start is just getting this, uh, getting this going here. Uh, how many guys do we have? I'm going to build a builder's hut because, as somebody pointed out in the uh, comments section, these extend range. So we're going to pop that in there. Uh, I am going to connect these paths just so we have a little bit better of a uh, Network here. Let's go ahead and turn on turbo speed. Got to get these uh, things going here. But in the uh, interest of, you know, not having beavers die of thirst, <laughs> I think what we're going to want to do is get this going sooner rather than later. And these this farmhouse can't do anything with these carrots anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and demolish these resources. And I think, there we go. I think this could be the section we start blowing up, but in order to do that, we have to have at least these two layers in place. And it's uh, it's going to take us a little bit of time to get here. But everything worth doing takes time, so I think it'll be a good addition. And I am uh, just going to have to keep coming back here to monitor how progress on that is going. Now, we do have a drought coming in 2.4 days. And we made a couple mistakes last time with how we handled different aspects of this whole thing. So, in the interest of 
you know, not uh, having a catastrophic uh, issue again. Going to make sure we have as much of this taken care of as we can. Just so we have more uh, more water storage capacity. And I think we've done, done a good job with that. So this is now all too deep over here. All too deep sounds like an emo band. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we have the ability to get over here, put in some path. Can I, can I not go past this? Really? Oh, that makes sense. I wasn't even thinking about that. Actually, we're going to... I know the irony of an underwater staircase where beavers could just instead swim is not lost on me. I just don't know how to uh, otherwise approach this issue. But they should have no problems taking care of that stuff. Uh, somebody also suggested dynamiting out this area here um, and avoiding the water source blocks. I'm honestly not really tempted to. I think this does a good enough job already. We just have to make sure we don't lose any volume of water. And I think the way we have our dams set up is going to make sure that doesn't happen because there's it's not possible for the water to release itself more than this short of evaporation. So I don't think that's an issue. That is now completely taken care of. It's fine. We should have... Uh, yeah, see, these guys are getting down here trying to... I don't know why they just didn't finish that. They should be able to get all of these, uh, well, maybe not all of them, but they should be able to get most of these, and then we'll just keep, you know, expanding there. But the stuff is working well. These trees are not growing fast, but, you know, they never were going to, if that makes sense. It's just, it's, it's not something that was ever really going to be a speedy process. So we have this uh, other forest down here that our guys are... Uh, getting after and we, we do have a decent supply of water to pump from it's just an issue of prioritizing jobs and making sure that everything else is doing fine now we, we can also go ahead and I am going to do this just to detonate all of these because we are beginning to run out of time I want to make sure we have that capacity since we do so uh, desperately need it. And if this is just going to be a continual process to, uh, to get that done. Now in terms of these floodgates, I'm going to go ahead and raise these because we really don't need to be hemorrhaging water any more than we have to. I think these are actually fine. Yeah, it appears that we have completely filled up our log storage. I'm sure that happened. Well, I was not paying attention, and someone's going to have uh, something to say about that, because I clearly missed that. But now that this is... You know, we really should have done this earlier, but now that this is starting to get uh, more accessible, we can start putting uh, other stuff here. We can actually move these stairs, instead of being here, They're just kind of uh, going at it. So let's um, avoid that. I don't want to drown any beavers. I don't, I don't want to trap them. But I do have to get... Uh, I do have to get this uh, taken care of here. Yeah, this guy's stranded, but... With a little help from his friends, I think he'll be okay. We'll just put these stairs in here. And we'll get these guys going. Other than that, drought preparation-wise, we are in good shape. Going to uh, pop this back up to one. And this should now equalize with this entire thing over here and be perfectly fine. Now, I know I mentioned that we were going to uh, take care of this, and I did completely drop the ball on that. But now that we have that done, we can put our beautiful slash uh, really hideous, ugly 
staircase to work here. And we can build all the way over to here, which is where we will move our uh, water dump. That I probably should not have deleted yet, but that's the way it goes. Uh, we will go ahead and move that one there. And then we will put in a levee there. And then we will have some stairs going down. But anyway, this will help also better access to the farming area and any future expansion down this way. And I think this should still be enough space for us to get to this uh, ruin over here and also all these trees that can be forested and taken advantage of there. So we have now looks like a pretty good... Uh, this, this does kind of worry me only having the one block for all of these uh, water pumps, but uh, we also have this section that we can pull from. Not the end of the world. We just have to be uh, diligent about how we uh, monitor our water consumption. And they've already made some pretty good progress here, so I think by the time we get around to our uh, end of the drought, and don't forget, we, we started mid-drought, or mid-drought, we started mid-cycle this episode, so we will get through this entire drought, and maybe half of the next cycle depends on how the time ends up looking. I want to try to keep these videos not too much longer than about an hour. A lot of you like the uh, the longer versions, but uh, I know there's some of you that prefer to have a little shorter. We'll try to find a happy medium and make sure that everything is palatable to as many people as possible. Because, you know, at the end of the day, these are supposed to be enjoyable to watch, so uh, I don't want to be making stuff that nobody really, uh, nobody really likes, you know? So let's go ahead and I think we can do... It actually goes up too higher over there. So we'll just kind of uh, get that going like so. Again, I'm not trying to dam up this entire area. I just want to, you know, have access to stuff. So I think if we're not going to have water going everywhere, this is kind of a dangerous place to have a farm. But if we raise the average uh, water level up to the bottom of these farmhouses, then that means this entire thing, this entire level of the spiral up to here will be more or less permanently watered. And we also eventually have the capability of dynamiting all of the, this out as well. Basically all the way up to here if we really wanted to, or it could all be one level. So that would be a, an interesting development. How's our staircase looking? Already done. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually looking really good. No workers available in district, huh? Okay, well that's a little annoying. Uh, we are going to go ahead and I know this is a little ugly, but we're going to go ahead and just make sure we have a thorough set of connections between paths over here and make this as accessible as we can. This would now basically make sure that anywhere over here is reachable anywhere else in the district and everything's connected and it looks good. So we now have space in front of here that if we are careful about managing where our water goes, will always be connected to something. So we'll put another water dump in that hole. And then we can also turn this into, I, I guess we could do wheat, but we don't have any, uh, we don't have any power generation in this district. But wheat is a superior food source. We have so many potatoes. Are we actually, are we still importing potatoes? Because if we are, we should definitely stop that. Okay, Timber Terrace does not need imports of wood. <laughs> oh, man. I guess it does need imports of planks because we can't make planks yet. So I think that's okay. We're exporting logs to Haven Home. That was always the plan. 
Now, how are we looking on our water supply? Okay, we're still looking all right. Not as robust as I really wanted it to be, but I think, I think stuff is still looking okay. We have so much power supply. I think we're, we're in good shape. Now, they haven't started building over here, of course, because I haven't come back in and connected all of these dots. Now, why does this say it's too far, but this one doesn't? It's a little uh, concerning. Why is that? That is, oh, uh, I think it's because this path doubles back. We need to connect these. I think that should have us, huh. I really thought that would add more. Are you... So you're telling me, you're telling me that this is still so far. Oh man, I, I guess I should probably move, probably move this uh, district center. But I don't know. Oh, that's annoying. I, I want to move this. Because it's at the edge of the district right now. I want to move it, like, up here. But I know it's going to cause... I know it's going to cause problems. So I think if I... If I move this up here... If I move it up here but don't connect it to a path and then delete that one. What's it going to do? It shouldn't... It shouldn't really mess with anything, right? Huh. Well, you know what they say. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Let's, uh, let's do something a little reckless here. Let's put in... Let's put in some... Good... good. That's actually the correct height. Good. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll have them build some stilts there, and then we're gonna put another district center, and then delete this one and see if it automatically uh, reassigns everything. I mean, it's not like that's that big of a deal. It's really you only have the name, and then you have these hundred and twelve adult beavers assigned to this district. Okay, they did start building this, which is good. I guess that might have just been a, uh, a strange thing. I guess we're going to have to uh, build this all the way up. Just, I guess, not worry about it as much. Because they are going to have to build up and then over and repeat ad nauseum. I guess we just have to decide how far out we want this to go. I'm, I'm really not trying to do too much here. So I think even just... Uh, this much would be a big help, a big improvement. And that certainly is, well, I'd have to imagine, probably two episodes worth of construction alone. We'll see how, how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game. going to pause the game. And we're going to pop in... I can never remember where this actually goes. All right. We're going to put... We're going to remove this piece of path. Then we're going to put in district. Then we're going to remove the district. Put this path in. We're going to rename this one Mine Mountain. Pause and repause. Okay, so... This now has no beavers assigned to it. I wonder if it's going to automatically... Yep, okay. It automatically re, uh, relearned all of its uh, all of its beaver boys. Boys and girls and uh, non-binary beavers. The... Uh, yeah, it's pretty seamless actually. So that seems to have worked pretty well. And that has extended our range a little bit and does not seem to have adversely affected our range up here either, which was another one of my uh, major concerns. Now, why is this too far from a 
Okay. I guess I might have made a uh, a dum dum here. Well, they will uh, they'll be able to get to that eventually. How are we looking over here? Yeah. See, this is exactly why I wanted to build this channel, was because this combines this uh, capacity here and kind of helps level it out. So you don't have this entire thing or this entire thing running dry. Now we're looking good up here. Did they add anything? Okay, they actually did add a pretty good bit. So we're going to go ahead and boom, boom that. We do need to be careful not to let it get too low because if it goes below, I guess, the uh, bottom of these stairs, then it's going to dry out this whole area. But now what we have is the opportunity to keep building here, get those, uh, get those put in. And then this whole thing will be too deep when it's full outside of underneath this, uh, little walkway here, which we could remove with no consequence and rebuild with a double height. So that is, uh, that's promising. That's good. All right. So, and of course this is working exactly as intended. Absolutely. No complaints here. Uh, this is also, that's not going to hurt anything to take care of that. And that actually, I think, would probably help us a little bit. So that's looking good. How are we doing over here? So I gave them a pretty tall task on this. We'll go ahead and keep building our levees. They just have to come in here and get rid of all of these trees. And I think they shouldn't have any problem getting anywhere. We might just have to extend our path a little bit Uh once this is all built up, we are going to develop this a little bit. Don't know exactly what we're going to do. Okay, now these guys are complaining about food. Okay, they got like potatoes and water. They're doing okay. We just have to make sure that they're not... Uh... Oh, these guys aren't... <laughs> they're not happy. They don't have any houses. That's, that's kind of mean. Kind of mean to do that. So I think we can... Uh... We can afford to give them some, uh, some little beaver houses, right? We certainly have the wood for it. So I think we can go ahead and put a lodge in there. Give them something. Of course, this this tree is uh, blocking the entrance. I, I swear I didn't plan that. That should give them... Nine and ten. Just a little uh, community there. It's probably not really a, a super relevant thing for me to be doing with resources over here. But I did say I wanted to have this done by the end of the drought, and I just kind of completely forgot about it, to be perfectly honest with you. So if they can get... Any other manner of stuff removed, I think we're going to be in good shape. Now, I have three of these, three of these on removal duty, which means, yeah, okay, they're going there. I'm going to let them uh, go ahead and prioritize all of these removal tasks and get rid of that one as well. Yeah, get them, uh, get them going on that, because as soon as these are removed, we can get this going. And then when the drought ends, this whole area can flood up to its intended level. And it'll be much, much better off. We just have these, looks like four. Yeah, four trees to get rid of. Eventually they will be building once they, you know, get there. I think the uh, deconstruction of these trees... And other things is a little bit more important. Go ahead and hire one more, one more of those guys. Pause the uh, cutting for just a moment, so they can get into taking care of this. But well, let's go ahead and check on how we're looking over here. Yeah, like they're gonna have to build the full height here before I do anything, and it's just uh, that's just the way it goes. There's not really a better uh, better way to go about that. Got these four beavers doing their thing. Should help a little bit. 
I think we have the resources in this district. Let's check again. Yeah, we have we have the ability to do more, so we're going to put in uh, another couple of beaver beaver huts, builder huts. If I can, you know, use any. Uh, there we go. I guess I didn't have to do it that way, but whatever. It'll be fine. Get these uh, all built up, and then we should have 12 beavers that can work on this. Okay, 0.7 days of drought left. They still have not gotten these trees out of here. I don't know if that's because they can't reach them or what. But we'll uh, we'll see. They, they really shouldn't have any problems getting over here. There we go. Now they're getting somewhere. See, the problem with this is now there's these other trees are growing on their place over here. And that's just like, man, you gotta you gotta nip that in the bud. I guess we can go ahead and put in our levees in spots that aren't affected by this. And then as they finish getting rid of stuff, we can go in and do that. Okay, they did take care of that. We'll go ahead and put our pathway in here. These guys are mad because there's nothing for them to chop. Well, my beaver buddies, I'll tell you what you can do is you can get on over here to this part as I try to build the lumberjack camps by clicking on the food icon. That's uh, it's not really how that's supposed to work, but uh, you know what they say, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Well, that's a blast from the past. Anyway, we have uh, we have some lodging for our beavers, so their quality of life has gone up at least somewhat, you know? Drought's almost over. Um, by the time this actually fills up high enough to be relevant, these should, should be built. Just, I uh, think we're going to be okay. Uh, we need to make sure we lower this floodgate to half so this doesn't flood wouldn't want the floodgate to flood would we oh man okay yeah they've been uh, they've been going to town over here with uh, this stuff so I think I think we've, we've done well we've, we're in good shape these are all full I guess we should build more storage uh, we will at some point some point get into that water is still in the process of very slowly making its way up I just these guys are not getting rid of not getting rid of these trees and I need them to I really need them to what are the four constructor deconstructors doing okay carrying logs I guess they're supplying for construction that makes sense and they're you know, actually building. So, can't really fault them for that. That's would not be a reasonable thing for me to decide to do. So, we have all of these... Oh, this is beautiful over here. I think it's probably time for us to plant... I, I can't plant food here. What am I doing? Uh, let's put in some sunflowers. I think I would like it very much for this entire front section. To just be sunflowers. I think. Yeah, I could do one more. We'll do some sunflowers there. Uh, you, you never have too many potatoes. This is just going to be all potatoes all the time. I think those guys, yeah. And then this area back here, I think we can probably make sunflowers again. Looking good. Um, we actually have room for 10 more workers. We don't have enough space in housing for 10 more workers. But I think we could support it if I built more lodges. I don't particularly want to at this exact point in time. We could if we felt like it, but I'm not going to not going to attempt that just yet. Now, we are looking over here. This guy has nothing to do because everything is cut. So we'll uh, get rid of that. 
can actually get rid of... Uh, I guess we don't need to get rid of these two because they can reach up there. But this is going to become more farmland, of course. With uh, most likely going to be potatoes. I, I keep trying to click on this to put food down. And I've played so much of this game. It is honestly kind of embarrassing that I uh, still try to do that. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. I think we're going to want to put in up here some grills. Just because we can. And that will help us with a little bit of our food production. Now, over here, these trees are still not gone. And I just don't understand why. I guess the uh, more relevant question would be, why am I just now worrying about this? Because now this is flooding. They seriously can't get to this? I should have had them build this first. Boy, that's, uh, that's annoying. Okay, well, we're going to have them have access to the top of this anyway, so I guess that's not that big of a deal. So this should be, should be still okay. We are getting a little bit higher of a uh, water level over here. So that's looking good. Yeah, so this, this is a nice preview of what happens when we have uh, an actual <laughs> functioning area over here. Okay, they're making much better time now that I have all these other, uh, other beaver boys working overtime to get this all taken care of. We are going to extend our path completely across here. They probably can't even reach over here to uh, get at everything, so we'll demolish those two, put in some more path, and see if that helps a little bit. Well, I figured they might have done this a little bit faster. We'll have to come back to that. Now, we have the ability to come up here now, so I am going to designate all of this as cuttable. And it looks like most of this, most of this entire ring is pretty much on the same level as it goes up here. So we will slowly be, I think, working our way around. I do want to put a district up here. Uh, somebody suggested that I do that. I, that was originally in the plan, even though I didn't didn't really talk about it. But we uh, will get this cleared out. We'll just keep on going all the way up to the middle here. And we will figure out a uh, better way to make stuff look a little nicer. How many uh, unemployed beavers? We still have 12 unemployed beavers. Well, that sounds to me like we have a group of beavers that are eager to undertake some construction projects. So I'm going to just because I can connect all these, get these, uh, build a couple more things. So we're going to double our beaver construction workforce over here. And then eventually these will probably go away and I'll put more, uh, more, uh, lumberjack posts and everything over here. Hauling posts are looking fine. Now this right here, these are all try not to kill any beavers. Apparently that's a thing that can happen. Get this. That was a concerning amount of lag. <laughs> oh boy, that would have been annoying if uh, the game crashed. But uh, for now it seems to be fine. These guys still have plenty more to do. We're looking good. We actually don't need this staircase down here anymore, so I guess I should get rid of that. And get rid of all of this and turn that back into... It's the entrance? Yeah. Turn this back into potatoes. 
I just I have this muscle memory for trying to do food stuff to click on the carrot, and I, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong, but that doesn't stop me from wanting to do it. Okay, we'll be able to get rid of this. And they'll be able to get to the rest of those pretty quickly, I think. Okay, sunflower is looking good. This whole area is starting to really shape up to be something nice. And did they get rid of the trees? They did not. Why? Why have they not? Why have they not done that? I guess I should just go ahead and build paths on top of all of this. I should not have put this mini lodge here. I should have put it one, one space over somewhere else. I do not know why I did that. That is pretty dumb of me. I just want to know why they haven't gotten rid of this yet. Because it's not like it's out of range. Well, I guess when they get up in the beaver morning, we'll find out. I right, know these four guys should be coming out of here and making their way downtown to get all this stuff out of here. Like, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? No reason for this to still be here. So I don't know if that's just a uh, function of they don't want to, or they can't get to it because there's other trees in the way and I've built a uh, levee. I guess, I guess that's probably the most convenient answer to that. I'll try and get these uh, removed, see if they can prioritize that at all. Yeah, that, that's that's probably what that was, as dumb as I feel now that I have seen that. That's just the uh, that's the way it goes. Okay, if we need to extend our path here. This should no longer be at the edge of the district, and it's not. And we can go ahead and start planting dynamite. And get this whole thing uh, blasted out should be should be pretty good I just want this to kind of spill out until that is well I think we are going to put a floodgate here instead of just having it be completely open otherwise this would just completely eternally spill out until this whole thing was full and then it would overflow into this area and while we might eventually build this levee up to be a little higher i don't presently think that's going to be the smartest thing for us to do. So we will not be doing that. This should, uh, it's not going to be done in this episode, but it should, why are we, why are we angry about not having any water? That is, hmm, concerning. We will immediately immediately <laughs> try to rectify this because our uh, our beavers are thirsty and I had not been paying attention. That is a big time mistake. Get those guys going. Yeah, we should have been monitoring this this entire time so everyone can be, you know, pumping. We'll just get those just enough water to get the pumps going again. Which I guess was not what I just did. That should be enough for at least a little bit. Boy, that's a stupid mistake for me to make. <sighs> Alright, well. Wouldn't be an episode of Timberborn without me doing something just unfathomably stupid, right? Okay, we'll get rid of those. Extend this out one more time. Get rid of these uh, remnants of carrots and then detonate the dynamite. While they continue building all of this. A 
very, very slowly. They should now have access to that. That should be plenty, uh, plenty adequate for that. This can still pump. Good. Okay, now over here. My god, they still haven't gotten this? Come on. <laughs> are, are they just waiting to do these last? Like, what's, what's going on? I just wish... I, I do need all these gone, but I wish they would prioritize these. And I have them... I have them marked as priorities. No, that doesn't affect if I haven't individually queued it for something. That is just... Very confusing. Well. Could be a lot worse. Oh, now this is flooded because I haven't opened it. Okay. Wow, that is... Just astounding levels of incompetency displayed by me in this uh, back half of this episode. Good lord. Okay. Get that back up to 2.5 where it belongs. That's at 2.5. I guess the water has... Uh... <sighs> that's just... That's so frustrating for me to miss something like that. As easy as that should have been for me to uh, stay on top of, I just, uh, for whatever reason, wasn't able to do it. Okay. Got that going across. Now this is going to be... Looks like one level higher. We'll continue to do that. And... They probably won't get that done today either, but... Oh, that's right, I moved this. This, I think, might just barely be out of reach of the district. I hope not, but we'll... Uh, we'll see. I might end up putting... Uh, because there's so many more stairs going this way, I might end up just putting a uh, complete straight line path here just for the sake of putting the next district in place because if they're able to build this I might be able to get away with putting one up here if not I'm going to have to put uh, something else okay so this is actually now able to hold some water here not a ton but able to hold a little bit no we're waiting on dynamite for this now these guys are thirsty too. What gives? All right, come on. You guys gotta figure this out at some point. Like seriously, there's only so many trees left. I cannot believe. I cannot believe that you still have all of this sitting here. I have to have these gone to dam this up. I guess I could put one here, but these two, these two gotta go. And I don't have to have I don't have to have this demolished because it's gonna automatically go away anyway. Come on, man. Like really? You're gonna leave all this sitting here? It's hard to find uh competent beavers, I guess, these days. Alright, did they finish over here? Looks like or almost there. They should be able to do these last four here and then this entire thing. Minus this will be too deep. Not too deep as in excess depth. Too deep as in two blocks deep. Okay, we're recovering over here. This is starting to look better and better. We just need these... Uh, yeah, now they're, they're starting to bring in more dynamite over here. I think we're in... Yeah, we're, we're in good shape. Uh, this district should also be flag. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. This is still taking a while to catch up. But we're not in the critical danger mode as far as water is concerned. Stuff still seems to be doing fine. Uh, have I marked these as... Oh, we don't have enough workers. That helps explain it. These water pumps should always be top priority somebody did mention I, they might have even by this point left another comment saying that I was being dumb about stuff but uh, the hauling post 
they were saying should be a lower priority job just so you're never running out of crucial raw resources because somebody felt like carrying logs around instead, right? So I think I should have done something with that earlier, but I didn't. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what happens. Okay, so this is saying it's too far from a district. I think, I think this is going to be two, it's going to be four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Math. It's not my strong suit. There's all these stairs I know. The stairs are really bad for the pathing calculations. So, yes, I know this is very ugly. And there's better, maybe better ways to do it. At this exact point in time, I just need this to be built. So I'm not really particularly concerned about how it looks as long as it is functional. Okay, speaking of functional, we can successfully blow that up. And by the time this actually gets tall enough, because of water flow, this will begin naturally filling. And our beavers are going to keep building these things as well with our... Uh, I guess we have 24 different beavers working on this. Yeah, see, now we're already getting water coming in. And that is going to work out completely fine. I don't think we're really going to have to worry about too much overflow spill. Um, but I will be putting, at some point in the future, before it becomes a huge problem, I will be putting a floodgate here to try and fix that. But I think this is a, this is a smart move to have some water stored up. And we will see what comes with that. We have so many resources just piling up now, which is interesting. I think everything is looking pretty good, but we need more storage. And we need somewhere to put it. I don't think... We have these underground warehouses that I haven't unlocked to this point. They hold so much more space. Uh, you just have to have somewhere to put it that you know you're never going to have to build on top of because they don't stack. They have to be built on the ground. So I've been hesitant to place those because they're kind of hard to uh, build around if you put them in the wrong spot. Whereas this holds a thousand and you can create interesting little designs with them. So I don't know that just to me seems like a uh, more appealing option. I kind of like this uh, funky little uh, tiered structure thing anyway. Now I could, I could do something like this, but I, I don't think that's very, <laughs> oh, this would be really ugly to do that. I don't think that's what we want. I wonder if this would work as a uh, big storage area. Maybe. And I, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue here. This is still not completely full. But it is something to be concerned about going into the future. And these guys still don't have any water. Man, we fumbled. Fumbled the bag, as the kids say. I fumbled the bag hardcore. Gotta get, uh, gotta get some more water pumping in here, man. Gotta, gotta get it. Got to figure something out. Well, that's probably going to be a problem for the next episode because we are reaching the end of today's. Now, if we take a look at what we've done, we finally planted all these plants, even though this was more or less ready to go or two episodes ago. We fixed our water distribution issues here, add a little bit better pathing. We have this area up here. Oh, my God, are we finally able to put these... Finally able to put these here? No, we have seedlings. Okay. I am going to put that there. I am going to put that there. And this is going to be immediately removed as soon as somebody decides to come over here and do it. But while they are taking care of that, we'll just kind of keep an eye on this. 
go ahead and talk through the rest of the stuff. Uh, we are probably coming close to the end of the daily Timberborn videos. Uh, we're in cycle 19, which is further than I think most Let's Players are willing to go into something like this. I, I'm, I'm going for the long haul. I mean, I'm not going to stop playing. I just don't know the viability of six days a week Timberborn videos. So we, we might go down to four soon. Uh, we'll, we'll determine what that means when we get to that point. But we do have, like I mentioned previously in other videos, we have a couple other new games lined up that uh, various developers have asked me to take a look at. And I think you guys are going to like them. So we were going to start getting into some of those probably next week. I have two on the docket right now that we are definitely taking a look at. And of course, we're going to revisit World Turtles as well. And I'm going to try and do the Ostrov live stream and then kind of a recap video on those because the progress in that game is just going to be so slow at this point. I do want to get to 3000 before Alpha 5 comes out? We still don't know when that's going to be. It, you know, it just kind of happens at this point. And we're going to have to be waiting to see exactly what we're able to do with that. And I think, I think this got you yeah, finally. It took you long enough. Thank you for getting rid of that tree. Good. We will put that there and then we will be done. Finished. Finito. With this uh, little project here. And could not come a moment too soon. But yeah, that is what we're more or less looking at for the next couple of days. Again, we still have uh, probably another today. This is going to post on a Thursday. We'll have one Friday for sure. Saturday's video might end up being an Oscar video or it might end up being a live stream in the evening. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, Sunday's video will almost certainly be an Oscar video, either a recap of the stream or it'll end up being that stream. Again, I don't exactly know until I get to that point what is going to uh, really make sense to do. And then uh, starting next week on Monday, we might start looking into the new games or it could be another Timberborn video. Just depends on when I have time to actually dive in and uh, learn mechanics a little bit before I start making videos on stuff. And we will see what happens as we get to that point. But again, I just want to reiterate the support that I've gotten on these videos has been awesome. It has been beyond anything I would have expected to... Uh, receive the amount of the views and the likes and the comments and everything is just it's awesome so you guys are a very very active very incredible community and i'm glad that you're here if you're watching these videos if for some reason this is your first one 12 episodes deep into a uh, long form unedited temperborn let's play well i don't know how you got here but hey more power to you i'm glad you're here if you've been here since the beginning Thank you for being here. If uh, you've been here since the beginning, beginning, when I was only making Oscar videos like two years ago, then you are a legend. <laughs> and I am, I'm glad to have you still here after all this time. But we are, in fact, coming to an end of this video just right below the hour mark. Thanks for being here. I try to live stream at least once a week over at twitch.tv slash jcthebeard. Would love to have you there. If you just want to be here on YouTube, that's completely fine too. Uh, you are valued, you're important, and you matter. And I hope to see you back in the next video when that gets posted tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.